Tonight, we assemble a brilliant group of people to see what they can do with some letters, some numbers and a dictionary. Well, last night the results were spectacular and I'm sure they will be again tonight because it is the second quarter-final of our finals series. First of all, though, please welcome a mind so sharp it can cut its way out of a mathematical jungle. Yes, it belongs to Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. Lily, I suspect we're going to see some sharp minds tonight as well. We had some razor-sharp minds last night, and I suspect it's going to be equally as interesting tonight. I think it's going to be fantastic. Great to see you. And managing the menagerie of meanings, it's WordKeeper, <laughs> David Astle. <laughs> WordKeeper. I like it. You feel sometimes like a, a zookeeper of words. I do, actually. In fact, uh, this show will really uncage some lovely words from this book. I love WordKeeper. Can I keep that? <laughs> you can keep that one. Good to see you, David. Welcome. Thanks. Now let's meet our contestants tonight. And first up is accountant Noeen Fernando, who retired undefeated after six episodes. Welcome back, Noeen. Great to see you. Thanks, Richard. It's good to be back. Now, I seem to recall that in one of those episodes, you scored three eight-letter words and two nine-letter words. Do you, do you happen to remember that? Yes, it rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it must have been an exciting moment. Yeah, it was a good night. Um, I'd, I'd be lucky to have some of those words again, I think. Uh... Well, we'll keep fingers crossed for great letters for you. Great to have you back anyway, Noeen. Cheers. And ready to challenge Noeen is Veronica Corrigan, a third-year medical student who won by one point on her first night and went on to win convincingly over the next three nights. Welcome back, Veronica. Thank you, Richard. Now, when you left us, you promised that on the next show you would bake and bring us brownies. Where are our brownies? I've let you down, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're assuming they're out there in the, uh, in the green room somewhere. Look, it's great to have you back, and we look forward to some great competition tonight. Thank you, Richard. So, very good luck indeed tonight to Noeen Fernando and Veronica Corrigan. And our first game for this second quarter final, of course, is the letters game. As you know, our contestants will try to make the longest word that they can in just 30 seconds using nine selected letters. And Noeen, well, you remember how it's done, don't you? Thanks, Richard. Hi, Lily. How's it going? Hi, Noeen. Welcome back. Thanks. Uh, could I get a vowel, please? You can. Let's start with A. Uh, another vowel, please. I remember this pattern. E. We'll try another one. Another A. Another vowel, thanks. I. Um, could I get a consonant, please? R. Uh, another consonant, thanks. T. Uh, another consonant. S. Uh, and another one, please. K. Uh, and one last consonant, thanks. And last letter, F. Thanks, Louis. First clock for the night. <laughs> Good to see the reliable letter selection pattern back again. How did you go? I got seven, Richard. And uh, what about you, Veronica? Just a six. Let's start with that six. Uh, freaks. And Noeen? Fairest. What a lovely sentiment, David, to start, <laughs> to start the night with. Gee, that K, didn't that spoil the party? It was uh, shaping up beautifully with all those A's, I's, T's, R... K. Uh, fairest... You, you love a good K. You're always yeah. saying you like J's and you like K's. K for killjoy in this case. Uh, fairest is obviously fine, fine and fair for uh, seven. And uh, frisket is another uh, lovely seven to be found. And that's a, a frame that holds a piece of paper in place for a printer. Very nice. Thank you, David. Strong start for Noeen. Seven points. On to our second letters game. And uh, Veronica, you didn't have quite as reliable a letter selection pattern as Noeen, did you? No, I like to shake things up. Oh, OK, shake things up for us now, <laughs> please. Can I have uh, a consonant, please? Certainly. Let's start with S. 
and a vowel. E and a consonant, please. C and another consonant. D, a vowel, please. I, a consonant, please. R, a vowel, please. A, a consonant, please. B, and another consonant, please. And last letter, G. And 30 seconds from now. Sounds very promising. Now, Wing? I'll try nine in there, Richard. Oh, we are keeping our fingers crossed, but hold your horses just a moment. Let's have the eight first, please. I have a bridges. Thank you very much. And your nine, now, Wing? And bird cages. Well, David, what do you think? Now, Wing is back in the house. Bird cages. Congratulations. <laughs> and not just a place where you smuggle a budgie, but also it's a... Uh, a New Zealand slang for a used car yard and an enclosure on a race course. And cage birds swapping those two parts around is another nine to be found. But well played. A great nine. So, nine letters, that means 18 points for Noeen. Well, I think that's as much excitement as we can cope with with the letters for the time being. So we should move on to the numbers. And as I recall, Noeen, you were very regular with your number patterns as well. Yes, I might have been. <laughs> Are you going to surprise us? Um, can I get one large and five small, please? One large and five small. Thanks, Noeen. And our numbers are six, ten, another six, four and seven. And the large number is 75. And the target trait, 818. Thank you, Lily. Let's head there. <laughs> close did you get with the first numbers round? Yeah, I got 18. Very nice indeed. What about you? Um... I didn't get close, sorry. No, Veronica? No luck? No. Okay. Now, Wing, take us through your method, please. Uh, Lily, I got 75 plus 7. 75 plus 7 is 82. 82. Times the 10. By the 10 is uh, 820. And 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. Take that away from the 820. 818. Very nicely done, Noeen. Absolutely on target. That was uh, a great approach, Lily. Would you have done it any differently? Oh, it was a great method. It was. And 10 points for Noeen. That means at the moment he has a very strong lead on 35. We are heading for our first break for tonight. And our first word mix, of course, for you. It's Earl Paul. And the clue, what skiing, parking and some universes have in common. Back after the break. Yeah. 